It's happening, my lovely, wonderful people. You will be surprised to find out some of the, you know, reactions that have trailed since our very own brother and the Sultan of Sokoto told Nigerians that, you know, or told Peter Obi, not Nigerians, that, you know, they should, uh, he should forget about this whole petition and, you know, just move on to ensure that at the end of the day, you know, uh, there is a smooth transition of power and Nigeria can become a better place and what have you, you know. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. As Sam Amadi responds to Sultan of Sokoto urging Peter Obi to accept election result and move on. So now Sam Amadi mm -hmm. Nikon the respond to Sultan say, ah, daddy wa, ah, daddy wa, ah, daddy Sultan. Ah, if Peter Obi fi say get case, make it never make a judge the case now. She mean at the judiciary. Okay, well, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Reactions as Sam Amadi responds to Sultan of Sokoto urging politicians to accept election results. The Sultan of Sokoto has advised Nigerians, politicians who are seeking court re remedy to accept election results in good faith and move on, saying 2027 is just around the corner. This means that they should not contest the outcome of, an, of the election in court, and those who have any matter in court should go and withdraw it for the sake of the country so that the nation can be in peace and harmony and for the smooth transition of power. If they do not have a strong case, they should forget about this whole issue. The certain advice is intended to prompt peace and stability in Nigeria as election disputes have been known to cause violence and other form of unrest, which is said is not wise for the country, especially at this very stage. However, Sam Ahmadi disagrees with the Sultan of Sokoto's advice. According to Ahmadi, accepting election results in good faith is one of the reasons why Nigeria is underdeveloped. He argued that accepting poverty, frustration, and many more has, have allowed evil hands in good faith to continue to put this nation in a dairy situation. He advised that politicians should not accept election results if they have real reason to believe that the process and the whole election result was flawed and was not the right thing done. Amadi criticized Criticism of certain advice is rooted in a large debate about democracy and development in Nigeria. Many Nigerians believe that the country democratic institutions are weak and promptly need to move forward with real people who have a heart for the nation so that our democracy can build, which we have seen and all that is going on the election, violence, fraud, argument and much more needs to be settled once and for all so that the people can move forward the country we cannot continue to have people who have no sincere true position to be the ones who give direction as leadership ordering the course of what is going on in the country amadi disagrees with the sultan of sokoto saying no this matter must be contested in court and, the, and at the end we should get to the very bottom of it and we should not allow the same people who have been holding us down to continue. Amadi said people who, you know, are benefiting from the chaos and, you know, the system not working are those who do not want those who feel they are not happy with the election to go and contest it in court because they know they will, of what we will benefit, you know, from the whole system. So that's our brother Amadi, and Amadi feels very strongly that um, he, he disagrees with Sultan to start with. He disagrees with the Sultan. He's not. Um, he's not totally. Uh, his mind is not there. He said, "No, what Sultan has said, I do not concur. I do not agree. I totally and completely disagree. Okay, I do not accept what the Sultan has said. I totally, completely disagree." Uh -huh. The Sultan telling me that. Um, or telling us this and that, he said, no, it's not acceptable and I will not allow it. You know, he said, no, that the truth must be told. The truth must be, you know, must be must be in place. And uh, this is what he, he feels, you know, Nigerians should be able to make, you know, should be able to, uh, you know, make a move and know exactly what they want. So this is what is happening. 
and so nobody should uh you know fold their arms guys i would like to hear what you think about all this going on i really like to hear your thoughts you know in respect to everything that is happening i would like to know what you think so that together we can move forward i would like to sincerely understand you know all these things you think that are going on you know people calling out to peter obi and to other presidential candidates to withdraw their cases from the courts that they should not pursue there is no need to pursue anything that you know nigeria is moving forward and that they should let sleeping dogs lie do you subscribe to the same okay do you subscribe to the same so these are some of the things that are going on and every single one of us we can see for a fact that this nation is in dying need for change and that we really need to come out of this anyway my lovely people what do you think what do you think because um, right about now things are beginning to you know beginning to look the other way and we really sincerely need to understand that nigeria cannot continue in the same way uh, we need to we need to this country needs to really we need to get to the bottom of it and understand some of those things that are going on Every time we keep quiet and we allow people who have no iota of concern for this nation to be the ones, you know, that are that are actually, you know, leading and giving us direction, you'll be shocked and surprised, you know, at how much we are we're just putting ourselves out there without real, you know, consideration for how things really ought to be. So it is a matter of urgent attention and every single person needs to understand why, you know, certain decisions are being made. You know, for Peter Obi in his own, in his own subscription, he feels very strongly that, you know, he has a case. If he has a case, and let me make it go court now, at the end of the day, we'll go see the results of the case. Yes. So no need to uh, cry over something. I don't, I don't really, I think we should leave Peter Obi or whenever ever feels we have a case to you know to decide on this matter and to come you know let's come to a, a conclusion a real good place where we can truly you know make you know real impact and bring about a change in the course of what is going on in the country anyway my lovely people now so the matter just the do for us so and so the thing they be for us it is a matter of uh, serious attention and we cannot afford to you know do the same thing and you know just leave things to be just the way they are leave us a comment please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news god bless have a good and a lovely day bye for now